Mark Spencer here from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com. I had a really interesting question from somebody in one of the forums about dealing with a sequence replicator, and I thought I'd share the answer here, maybe find it useful. So uh, the person asking the question was creating a little animation with some squares, and here I have some uh, little square shapes just created with the shape tool, animated. Uh, they're created copies with the replicator and animated with a sequence replicator. So if I select the sequence replicator, you can see that the shape is set to line for the replicator itself. We've got five little copies. If I go to the Behaviors tab, we see that we are, are animating the scale from 0%, and they're animating on. So that's fine, and the person posting the question didn't have a question about this. Their question was, once they're animated on, he wanted each square to have a different level of opacity, but he didn't want that opacity to animate. How could he do that? Could you do it with replicator? And the answer is you can. You can do something what I call using a frozen sequence replicator. And here's how it works. I'm going to turn off this existing sequence replicator so we don't get confused about what's happening here. And I'm going to add a new one. Add behavior, replicator, sequence replicator. Let's stop playback. And I'll rename the second sequence replicator freeze opacity. So we know that's what it's doing, freezing the opacity. And here's how we get this done. First of all, we're going to go ahead and add opacity as the parameter that normally you'd want to animate. We'll suck the opacity down to zero. Let's trim this replicator just so we can see right now, if we play back, that that replicator is actually animating from 100% to zero opacity. We don't want it to animate. In order to handle that, what we do is we change the traversal here. Rather than a constant speed, we're going to choose custom. The idea behind this is then this location parameter appears, and you can keyframe that location parameter to have the animation happen any way that you want. For instance, you could have the animation go forwards and backwards uh, and pretty much do whatever you want. But we don't want any animation at all. So we're not going to keyframe it. All I'm going to do, if I drag it to the left or right, you can see that it starts to impact each of the um, little squares. In fact, if I move it all to the way to the right, the animation's completed. So I could just find a point that I like so that each of these has a different level of opacity. Now right now the spread level is one, so it's affecting each square independently. One of them goes to zero, the next, the next, and actually spread of one means the one next to it is also starting to animate. Uh, spread of zero would mean that each one is completely independent. There we go, each one kind of clicks on and off. So if we don't like the spread of one, we can just increase the spread. I'll increase it to maybe three, and now if I adjust the location slider, I've got my first one's almost invisible, and my last one is completely opaque. I'm playing back, so there's no animation of opacity here at all. So what we have is a frozen sequence replicator by choosing a, traver a traversal of custom, and setting a location, and then adjusting the look by adjusting the spread. And we're not using any keyframes because we don't want animation. We just want these guys to have different opacity levels. I could turn the original sequence replicator back on, and now each of those guys scales up with their own level of opacity. And that's it. I hope you found that little trick helpful. My name is Mark Spencer from RippleTraining.com and AppleMotion.net, and thanks for watching.